And Charlotte City leaders are also looking to improve the roads on which we drive every day. They want to funnel millions into lighting streets and new signs, meaning that they want those drivers to be alert behind the wheel. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre joining us live in South Charlotte to talk about this program. So Jesse, what sort of changes can we expect to see from this? Well, you can expect to see more signs like these behind, like that one behind me across in Charlotte. Now, Vision, Vision Zero Charlotte tells me that deadly accidents are on the rise in Charlotte and speeding plays a major role in crashes. So they hope these signs and other initiatives slow drivers down. The goal is to eliminate serious and fatal injury crashes on our streets. They have a huge impact to uh, our community that I think most people don't think about when they in, engage in those risky behaviors on the roadway. That's Angela Berry. She is the project manager for Project Zero. She says there's an average of 70 deadly crashes in Charlotte a year, adding that speeding drivers are a major concern in some neighborhoods. The speeding is out of control because you have a lot of young people um, not paying attention. You got a lot of people that's racing through the streets just because. There's a lot of people who speed and um, like cause a lot of accidents, and I feel like we should just slow down a little. Vision Zero is expanding its driver's feedback sign program with now 30 signs rotating around the city every six weeks. Is that sign that blinks at you and tells you what your speed is um, under a speed limit sign? They are placed in locations where there is documented speeding in excess of 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit or in spots designated as high injury areas or at the request of a citizen. We are evaluating speed limits on uh, high injury network corridors to lower them. But some residents feel like the signs aren't working. You're not going to get no warning. It's just something for you to glance at your eye to say, hey, I'm doing 60, but I'm in a rush. So that don't matter. No, it, it don't do anything. Now, Barry says this is just one way to reduce crashes. They are also working with police to increase their efforts in high impact areas, also working to um, update sidewalks as well as up, um, increasing bike lanes and just really other projects that make it safer for everyone who use the roads. Live in South Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. We certainly hope it works. Jesse, thank you.